Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning level 8 framework tutorial. This is our part 94. Inside this video, we will discuss a something different point that is working with Voyager Admin Panel. What is Voyager Admin Panel? So Voyager is a composer package. After installing that package inside any of the Laravel application actually, we are going to install a complete set of admin panel. Inside that admin panel, we have several functionalities including login as well. So we will see the step-by-step -step guide to integrate Voyager admin panel inside Laravel application. So if I back to blogging website, inside this blogging website, we have an article into the same topic that is working with Voyager admin panel. So go here, click on articles, level 8, click on search and if we search for Voyager admin panel, so pressing enter, now as we can see that we have an article over that. So simply if I click on that, now inside this article we have all the steps defined to install and work with Voyager admin panel. This is the complete step-by-step -step guide. One more thing that Voyager admin panel is going to provide you a skeleton of admin panel. For the complete functionality we can customize that because inside this admin panel there is no server-side form validation integrated. In case if we want more functionalities to be integrated inside this Voyager admin panel, we need to work inside its core files. So all these things we will discuss inside this video that how can we install and how can we find its core files. So first of all, we need to install a Laravel application. So here is the command. This is the very first step of this article to install a Laravel setup. So I have copied the command back to terminal, pasting it here. So instead of blog, let's say voigo hyphen admin hyphen panel. So pressing enter. As you can see that the installation process has been now started. So in, in the meantime, let's create a database. So go inside phmi admin, click on databases. Let's say Laravel underscore voigo underscore admin panel. So if I copy the name, click on create button. So right now inside this database, we don't have any file, sorry, don't have any table. Back to terminal, the installation has been now completed. Back to directory structure and here is the setup. Let's open this setup into VS code. And successfully we have imported our installed folder inside this VS code. So to connect with the database, we will open .env file from this setup. .env means .environment file and inside this file we will find all about our database connectivity variables. So simply we need to pass our database name here. In my case, the phmi admin detail is admin, admin at 1 to 3. In your case, it may be different. So save all these changes. Back to article. Now successfully we have installed and connected with the database. Now in the next step, we need to install Voyager package inside our Laravel application. So here is the composer command called composer require tcg forward slash Voyager. This is a composer package we need to install inside our Laravel application. So simply copy this command back to terminal. First of all, we need to go inside the installed folder that is Voyager hyphen admin hyphen panel and here is the command pressing enter. We need to wait for a while because the installation process is in progress. And as we can see that the composer package now installed. Back to blog article. Database connectivity we already done. And finally, we need to run our Voyager installer. What is Voyager installer? 
In the last step, we had installed the Composer package of Voyager. Now this package is available to this Laravel setup. But if we want to use that setup, we need to run actually the installer of Voyager package. So if you go inside installer part, so we have two options. The first option is that if we want to run the Voyager installer as simple as that and in the second option we have to run our installer with some dummy data. What is dummy data here? It means when we run our Voyager installer it will create all scaffolding files including admin panel with some dummy data. It means with a credential of admin. But in this case, it will only create an admin panel with no dummy data. But what we want? We want that it will generate a complete set of admin panel with few amount of dummy data. So I will copy this second command back to terminal, clear this console pasting this command, press enter and as we can see that publishing the Voyager assets database and config files, this is the copy directory and the migration process is in progress. So we need to wait for a while. Now successfully as we can see that the process has been now completed. It has generated lots of files behind the scene. So we will see step by step all things things as well. So simply, now if we go again here, clear this console, back to blog article, we had done all about installation, back to database, click on reload and as you can see that behind the scene, the migration has done, total 17 tables, the Voyager admin panel or the installer has installed inside this database. Now simply, in the next step, we need to start, start our development server. So let's say php artisan type serve started our development server at port 8001. So if I open this link and if I type the URL called admin, now as we can see that we are getting a appearance or a design of Voyager admin panel. In the right hand side, as we can see that we have an admin login form where we need to pass the email address and the password. So when we install Voyager admin panel, by default it provides an admin credential is something admin at the rate admin.com and password is password. So go here and type password. So if I click on this login button. Now as we can see that we are currently inside this Voyager admin panel. These all things it has maintained via Composer package. Inside this admin dashboard we have several options. As we can see that here we have few options. So if we go inside any of the sections let's say for the users. Now inside this here is the admin listed. By the help of that, we had logged in inside the system. If we want to add a new user, click on add new. And as we can see that we are getting a form. So right now inside this form, there is no server side form validation integrated. So when we click on the save button without filling any data, as we can see that we are getting a SQL error. So when we work with this Voyager admin panel, we need to customize according to our need. In some cases, if we want client side validation or let's say server side validation, so according to our need, we need to customize this functionality. Now the main question is that, how can we find the files of this admin panel? So for that, again back to admin panel means blogging website, scroll down, and here we can see that about auto generated files. So inside config folder we have voyager hyphen hooks.php. So back to our directory config inside this config folder here are two files generated. Now next two finds all about the routes generated. Go inside routes 
whip.php and inside this whip.php as we can see that this is the line actually added by voyager installer with the prefix admin here we have a single line but behind the scene it is generating bulk of routes how how can we find those routes simply back to terminal close this development server and when we type php artisan let's route list pressing enter let's zoom out zoom out zoom out and as we can see that inside our web.php only we have two routes but behind the scene this is going to create a bulk of routes because as we know that there are several functionalities behind the scene that composer actually installed so all these modules contain their own routes now if i back to directory structure now how can we find the core files of voyager admin panel so that we can work and customize that so for that we need to go inside vendor folder inside vendor folder we will find a folder called tcg inside this tcg here we have voyager inside this migration file means folder we have all the migrations what we got as a table inside our database here we have the routes all the routes what we got inside our terminal inside this resources folder we have all the view files so step by step we can customize each of the functionality so inside this video session guys now we have some idea about voyager admin panel we can work and extend this skeleton of admin panel into a next level and also one more thing before closing this video as we can see that when we had installed our setup we got the admin details at admin at admin.com and password equal to password but in case if we want to generate a new admin user how can we generate that so simply to create admin user we have a very basic simple command this is the syntax and here we have an example so inside this syntax php artisan voyager admin this is the command after this command we need to pass the email address and create as a flag so inside this example php artisan voyager admin syntax email address and create is a flag so if i copy this whole command back to terminal let's zoom in pressing this command enter admin name so if i passing my name next we need to pass the password i am typing the password from 1 to 8 confirm password typing again 1 to 8 and admin account created successfully now if i start the development server back to browser go and reload this page once we log out from the last login details and here if we pass the new created admin detail password is from 1 to 8 now as we can see that we are not logged in inside this admin panel so this is the other way to manage all about admin details so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day